Hello, children of the channel, how are you today? Today I will tell you a new story, the story of Alice in Wonderland, but before starting, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, as it is a free channel, like, share and comment if you like the story and now once upon a time, there was a curious and adventurous little girl named Alice. One sunny afternoon, while daydreaming under a tree, she saw a white rabbit in a waistcoat scurrying by. Alice's curiosity got the better of her, and she decided to follow the rabbit. The rabbit hopped into a small rabbit hole, and without hesitation, Alice followed suit. To her surprise, she found herself falling down a deep, dark tunnel. As she tumbled through the void, she could see peculiar objects whizzing past her, clocks, teacups, and even playing cards. Finally, Alice landed with a thud in a whimsical place called Wonderland. The world around her was filled with vibrant colors, talking animals, and bizarre creatures. Determined to find the rabbit, Alice embarked on a thrilling adventure. Her first encounter was with a grinning Cheshire cat, who directed her to the Mad Hatter's tea party. There, Alice met the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, and the Dormouse. They were constantly stuck in a perpetual tea time, sipping tea and engaging in nonsensical conversations. Alice joined them in their peculiar gathering, enjoying the tea and the company of her newfound friends. Continuing her journey, Alice stumbled upon a garden of talking flowers, each with its own personality. The roses were snobbish, while the daisies were cheerful and friendly. The flowers entertained Alice with their enchanting songs and dances. As Alice explored further, she encountered a caterpillar perched on a mushroom. The caterpillar was wise and offered Alice guidance. He told her that to find her way back home, she must go to the Queen of Hearts palace. Upon reaching the palace, Alice found the Queen of Hearts, a short-tempered ruler who loved to play croquet. The Queen's army of playing cards marched around, and the White Rabbit, who Alice had been chasing, served as the Royal Herald. Alice played a game of croquet with flamingos as mallets and hedgehogs as balls, trying her best to avoid the Queen's wrath. In the midst of her adventures, Alice encountered a trial where she was accused of stealing tarts. The courtroom was chaotic, with the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, and even the Cheshire Cat as witnesses. Just as Alice thought all hope was lost, she grew taller and taller until she towered over everyone. It was then revealed that her adventures in Wonderland were nothing more than a dream. Alice woke up under the same tree where she first saw the White Rabbit. She couldn't help but smile as she realized the extraordinary journey she had experienced. Although Wonderland was just a dream, the memories and lessons she gained from her time there would stay with her forever. From that day forward, Alice cherished her sense of wonder and embraced the extraordinary in the ordinary. She knew that sometimes, the most magical things can happen when we let our curiosity guide us, just like Alice in Wonderland. Alice realized that her adventures in Wonderland had taught her valuable lessons about herself and the world around her. She understood that sometimes, things may not make sense, but that doesn't mean they lack beauty or significance. As Alice bid farewell to Wonderland, she carried the spirit of curiosity, imagination, and open-mindedness with her. She knew that life was full of wonders, waiting to be discovered in the most unexpected places. Back in the real world, Alice approached her everyday life with a renewed sense of wonder. She found joy in exploring nature, observing the intricacies of the world, and appreciating the little things that often went unnoticed. Alice's friends and family noticed the change in her and were inspired to embrace their own sense of curiosity and adventure. Alice's journey through Wonderland had transformed her into a storyteller. She shared her experiences with other children, captivating them with tales of talking animals, magical gardens, and whimsical tea parties. Through her stories, she encouraged children to embrace their imagination and embrace the extraordinary in their own lives. Alice's adventures in Wonderland had left an indelible mark on her heart. It had taught her to believe in the impossible, to question the norms, and to always follow her curiosity. And so, Alice continued to explore the world with wide eyes, knowing that there was always another adventure waiting just around the corner. And as she grew older, Alice never forgot the lessons she learned from the Mad Hatter, the Cheshire Cat, and the Queen of Hearts. She carried their wisdom with her, reminding herself and others that life is a grand adventure, 
waiting to be embraced, and that sometimes, getting lost is the best way to find yourself. Now the fantastical, beautiful and exciting story of Alice in Wonderland has ended. Do not forget to subscribe to the free channel and like, share and comment if you like the story. Bye, children of the channel, and wait for us in a new episode.